Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen, and look at my guest person in the in the uh, kitchen today. He's not a guest, but Harold is going to cook something that is in Volume One of my cookbook, and they're in now. So you need to order because I didn't. I, I ordered enough that I thought would get the ones who are really wanting it. I didn't want to have a lot left, so go ahead and order. But he's going to cook chili that's on page 10. And I'll let him go from here, and he'll just tell you what he's doing. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to make chili. It's pretty much a, a dump chili. Okay, Sue uh, prepared how much ground beef? A pound of ground beef and one onion chopped. Pound of ground beef and an onion. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the. Did you drain it? I did drain it. That's okay. why it's in the colander. Okay. Drained it. It's in there. Okay, so that's our start. Our start, and we're we're just gonna pour the stuff in, mix it up, cook it. Okay. okay. We'll start with. Uh, a, a quart of canned tomatoes. Now these are tomatoes that Sue canned. I canned them this year. Yeah. So these came from what they say on the mountain. Chandler Mountain. In uh, Alabama. Kind of northeast Alabama. It's a family farm. They grow these and we go up and you can pick them at the end of the year and just get a bunch of tomatoes for not a lot of money. Okay. A quart of tomatoes and uh a can of a small can of tomato sauce, not paste, tomato sauce in there. And we'll tell you what size that is. It's the small can. <clears throat> if you don't have canned tomatoes that, that you canned yourself, you can use the petite diced. But this How many is, ounces is that? eight ounce can okay, of tomato sauce. Can. Tomato sauce, then uh, two tablespoons of chili powder. And we've measured that out. Uh, and you can do it. At, you make it the first time. If you don't like exactly how it is, you take a little bit of something out or you add a little bit of something in. Or you do as I do when I when I cook, really. I taste it as I go. He does. And I add to, of course, you can't take out, so I, I added just a little bit at the time. But and Harold doesn't like hot. I do not. I do not, you know... Just a little bit more than mild is enough for me, so I don't I don't want it really hot. But the chili powder does make it hot. Okay, and then we have a half a teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. You can see right here, Sue measured those out for me. So we just, again, dump it in there, stir it up. And we didn't have kidney beans. The recipe calls for kidney beans, a small 16 ounce can of kidney beans. Well, we didn't have any kidney beans in the pantry. So we're using chili beans. chili beans that we did have, okay? 15 and a half ounces. Don't drain them. Everything goes in. If you want black beans, put black beans. If you want pinto beans, put pinto beans. It doesn't matter. Just, if you don't want any beans, don't put any beans, okay? So then, excuse me, we got a teaspoon of... Garlic. Is it a teaspoon? Yeah. A teaspoon of garlic powder. I got it. And then a tablespoon of brown sugar. Now, I'm glad the recipe called for, for brown sugar because I'm a... He always puts it in there. That's why I put it in the book. Okay, one tablespoon. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll break it off about even, okay? Mm -hmm. a tablespoon of brown sugar. And then it calls for water, a cup of water. Already measured it out. I... I Typically, when I have made chili, I don't put water in it, but we're going to see what this does. And you just mix it up, put a top on it, and cook it. It's to simmer it yeah. for 45 minutes. Now, I've, I brought the little, um, I'm going to turn that up. I brought my little hot plate in here so you could see. It's kind of hard when we video from the stove. And what I won't show you is before the 45 minutes is up, I'll take the top off and taste it. Yeah, he won't and, double. Well, it's just us. If you want to stick the spoon back yeah, in, you can. But uh, I, I, I can't 
I, I never cook by recipe. I don't cook much, but I cook a little bit of stuff, and I, I just kind of cook it, start off and add as I go and get it to, to a like to where I like it. If it gets too much of something and I've messed up, I'll try to counteract it with something else. I know, and he, he makes the best chili, and he makes the best spaghetti sauce. And but I couldn't tell you what I put in it. He couldn't. Because it's never the same. I just get in the spice rack and get what I think I would like the taste of. and That's right. Dump some of it in there. That's right. So, our... Is it on? It is on. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this to a boil. And then we will turn it down. And we'll time it for 45 minutes, letting it simmer. Yeah, it's already starting to do a little bit of something you can see. Yeah, you can it see it. Take much. But, I, you know, I think y'all get tired of seeing me all the time. And, and uh, Harold helps me so much, so I thought I'll just let him yeah. do that. I don't, know, I don't know when this will be aired, but it's the middle of October. And... Uh, when we got in the car this morning, today is Sunday when we're videoing this, and it's when we got in the car this morning, it was 47 degrees. Now, Sue said she saw on the, on the weather this morning that there were some 30 degree temperatures in North Alabama today. So it's getting time for chili. So chili and you know already know how to make cornbread. So you can do that. Chili and cornbread is good or chili and... I like uh, saltine crackers. Harold likes Fritos. I like Fritos with chili, yeah. And, and, you know, Harold will put um, a spoon of sour cream mm -hmm. sometimes. Sometimes cheese, sometimes and we sour like cream, cheese. whatever. So. But we will come back after this simmers for a little while and let you see how it came out. And he can tell you if he added anything to it at that time. And obviously it's not very hard. <laughs> you know, if, if, I can, if I can do it, then you can do it, okay? But we'll be back. Hello, we're back. I don't know how long we cooked this. We cooked it till it's done. That's all I, all I can tell you. Well, we let it simmer for 45 minutes, and I was ready to come back, and Harold was watching something on TV, <laughs> and he said, do we have to do it right now? And I said, no. So it's probably, we turned it off. Yeah. So it's been probably, we simmered it 45 minutes, and it's been off about 30. But uh, during, the, during the time, I added some cumin, cumin and, and a little bit more garlic and a little bit of garlic you know and you can add whatever it it, it has it has a, a good taste it's it's nice thick it's not watery I was worried when we put the water in that it was going to be runny but it's not it's, it's nice and thick mm -hmm. and and you know he said what he you know this is what Harold told me and he might remember it and he might not <laughs> he said That's the way this was a lot of I know it. He said, um, this is a good base. People can yeah. add whatever they yeah. want. I know the other day I was watching Brenda Gant and y'all I love these other cooking shows. I'm not in competition with anybody. I love to watch them. There's about six that I watch every night. I love every one of them. And the more I'm finding I still watch others, but you know, Brenda made a huge pot of chili the other day. I think she cooked five pounds of hamburger meat, and she added bell pepper in hers. We have, Sue did something the other day with Koneka sausages, I know, and I like, I, I think we have at some time, uh, kind of cubed Koneka sausage, brown them, and put them in, in chili. Mm -hmm. You can do all, all kinds of stuff. Some people like deer chili. We don't do deer meat, but my son-in-law does, and he loves it. And yeah. A lot of the people around here have their own. But. We used to have a chili cook-off at church, mm -hmm. and the men would enter it, and, you know, it was just sort of a, a fellowship-type thing. But there was different things people would do. Um, of course, some had white chili, chicken chili. And I'll make that sometime because I have a good recipe for that. We have a friend from Louisiana that put potatoes in his chili. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? It was spaghetti sauce. Oh, it was spaghetti. My bad. Yeah. He put potatoes in his spaghetti. But I will um, put this recipe on my website, mamasusouthernkitchen.com, but it is in volume one. Harold says this is his favorite cookbook. Yeah, I like that. That's, to me... 
Well, I'm not going to say anything. I like volume one. And I really like volume two, but I really like volume one. <laughs> well, this was my original. This was probably my um, go-to recipes more. Mm -hmm. But volume two has my strawberry cake and good things in it. But this, you got to get this one for um, meatloaf balls. Yeah. And, oh, it's just lots of them. So anyway, you can find this. How to um, order volume one and volume two on MamaSueSouthernKitchen.com. My new fall shirts, you know, I had on the other day uh, a sweatshirt that was this color, <laughs> but it had even if. But this just reminds you to be salt and light wherever you go. You read Matthew 5, 13 through 16. Where Jesus tells us to be salt in life. Yeah, let let folks see Jesus. You don't have, you may not be one who wants to witness or, or do that, or God might not have called you to do that, but they need to see Jesus. They need to see Him in the way you walk and the way you carry yeah. yourself. And uh, you, I don't think we realize how much influence we can have on people just by being nice, whether it's at the drive through or at the checkout counter at the grocery store, wherever, just... Those folks were working and working hard, and I see people who are ugly to them, and that really, that's really bad. So be, give them a smile. Let them know that, that there's a little bit something different about you. Yes. That you've got something that's different than, than, the, than most of the world. Well, I hope you enjoyed Harold's cooking today. I did. <laughs> I, I, I wish he would do this more often, but he is a helper for sure. And I appreciate you sharing my page and comment on it because... That lets Facebook know that you want to follow me. Uh, so many of you say, I'm so glad to see you back. I've been cooking on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday since January. So, you know, you've got to comment for Facebook to make it pop up on your page. But anyway, we will be back soon, and we just thank you so much for being with us.